All right, I'm on hole number 12 of the third anniversary tournament. Let's go check out hole number 12. Hole number 12. Test number one. This is our test. This is test one, number one. Here to there, through the rough, bringing it home. I need an extra mile and a big dog. And those are the only two things that I need. Extra mile and a big dog. I'm going to bring a Saturn just in case. I mean, if I end up having to use this club, then I epic failed all the way around. I'm bring my Kingfisher. Shady Malibu. This stuff is my normal. Bring in a five power ball. Let's go see if we can get the eagle on the par on our test, at least past our test. We didn't do very well in the classroom stuff. We actually didn't turn in one of our labs we failed on. But now we're taking the classroom test. This hole right here, the par fives are get your eagle. You do have an albi shot and get your eagle. Those are the... <laughs> You do have a shot on that midterm to pick up an Albi and get a slam dunk on your midterm and pick one up. Get ahead of the class. I have notes for these holes. I should be looking at them. 10% on both. I know I want to ride that red line until I can get two rings off of the rough. Make my wind adjustment with 10% wind. And a max curl, no overpower shot. And I'm better off with a ring or two great on the inside. And maybe one ring great on the outside. It's kind of the range that I have where I can still end up where I want to end up in the fairway. Everything it has. I'm going to ride that red line until I'm two rings off of that transitional surface. I'm going to take the wind out plus 10%, so that's 4, 6. 2.5 per ring, that's 5. So I'm going to go a little shy. Maybe a ring and three quarters. Max curl. I think I hit it perfect. Perfect. And try and get as close to 400 yards out here as I possibly can. Three ninety four. Anything over three ninety will work, but you really want to be four hundred plus. If you've got an extra mile eight, you can get with that shot right there, the same exact shot. You just ride that red line up. You'll actually be able to get a little bit farther on the shot and you've got more curl. So you can take that shot right there, take the wind out plus 10% and it'll end up with no overpower and you'll end up out there like in the 400 plus and anything you're over 400, it's just gravy. You can end up there if you've got an extra mile nine, you can end up in out in that area or with an apocalypse, you end up out in that area and you're at like 420 to 440, somewhere in that neighborhood, then you are really good. You really can come at it with a, with a sniper. And for some reason, it seems like you can almost get more distance with a power four ball than you can with a power five, just because of where the red line's at. But on the second shot, it doesn't hurt to have a power five ball. Oh, and I brought the wrong club, brought the wrong bag, so I'm going to have to go at it. I'm going to have to put myself in a spot. I brought the wrong bag. Look at that. <clears throat> I thought I changed that club. Come out into that area right there. Hit it like 
7,000 rings good on the inside. Look at me coming into this round and epic failing twice, and I epic failed right there because I didn't bring the right club. That's that's a mental that's a mental error. <laughs> oh my gosh! Take a day off and come back and look what happens. I will say that this is why it's great to have practice accounts because you can go out and you can practice a few times. And I'm I'm really actually enjoying pay, playing the account with the low level clubs because it does make you like there's certain shots that you can go for with some clubs that like right there if I would have had my guardian and my upper developed account I still could have got it done with my guardian it has more distance it's the same distance as the big dog as far as raw distance it just doesn't have as much top spin. All right. This is not, if I just had just a little bit more ball guide in this club, I really wouldn't mind this club. From that distance, 4-4. Four, four. It did great on the right. And it went great to the right. I, th I think I had a, a perfect and a great to the left. I could have hit that from where I set it up. And a great to the right. Just great to the right. Two holes dropped on this side. Man, I'm going to have to smoke it out on the end of this. I'm just happy it's in the opening round. <laughs> and this is a long putt for me. I don't like taking uh, this hole right here with the berserker. I had a putt that was about half that distance and lined it up and was just had the ball guy just barely coming out the backside of the hole. And that berserker bounced over the cup, and I ended up getting a birdie, and that was my eagle putt. And so coming into that hole with a berserker and always those putts, usually it's a chip. That's why I don't mind taking those chips on that hole, because I don't like the, I've had bad experience with the putt. Two dropped shots in a row. I failed the first test. Oh, my gosh. All right, that was hole number 12. That was an epic fail on hole number 12. Two epic fails in a row. I will catch you on hole number 13. Thanks for watching.